Think I'm losing my mind Trying to stay inside the line Hi guys, for today's video, I will teach you how to apply Canadian Visit Visa. Using Google Chrome, go to cic.gc.ca and then after Immigration and Citizenship, sign in and create an account to apply online. You have two options to apply using GC Key and sign in with sign in partner. But we don't have the uh, sign in partner so we will use the GC Key. Uh, registering with GC Key, we will need to uh, register using our username and password. So, we will click the register with GC Key. And then, after that, we will uh, click the sign up. Yes, the sign up. And then, after clicking sign up terms and conditions you will read that one and then after reading i accept and then they will ask you to create your username so just always remember your username because every time you log in you will enter that username then click continue After clicking continue, they will ask you to create a password. Create your password. Make sure, don't forget again, and because they will ask you every time you sign in to your account. After entering your password, your chosen password, click continue. After clicking continue, they will ask you to create your recovery questions, answers, and hints. I mean, after you sign in and uh, put your password, they will ask your uh, recovery questions. Now I'm entering my uh, recovery questions and answers and hints. After completing all the required data, click continue then GC sign up complete. Click again continue to finish the process. Okay, now you need to sign into your account. You will go back to the main menu. Click English and then you will go back to Immigration and Citizenship. Then sign in to your account using GC key. Then after that, after clicking the sign in with GC key, they will ask you to enter your username and password. After entering your username and password, click sign in and then you will now enter the website, the cic.gc.ca. Under personal checklist, click the visitor's visa, go to visitor's visa application, then find out if you're er eligible to apply. So you need to fill up all the questions, what you would like to do in Canada, of course you visit, how long you're planning to stay in Canada, temporarily, less than 6 months, then the pass your passport, it's Philippine passport. Then what is your current territory? If you are residing in Philippines, you will write Philippines. Or if you are residing in Saudi Arabia, you will write 
Saudi Arabia. Since I am in Saudi Arabia, I will write Saudi Arabia. Do you have a family member who is a Canadian citizen? I will write no because I don't have. And your birthday, you will write need to put your birthday. After completing, click next. And then, have you lived to Canada as a permanent resident or landed as immigrant? No. Are you local permanent resident of USA? No. What is your uh, marital status? Single. Yes. And what is your province of destination? So, I'm planning to stay in Alberta. You click next after completing. So, you are eligible to apply for... Uh, visit visa so click continue yes click continue so what is the main purpose of your visit is to visit my family of friends oh. you need to fill up all those questions and be true do not lie do not uh, deny kasi mahirapan kayo sa pag-apply uh, do you have job in your country where you live? yes do you own a business? yes, uh, no of course no do you depend on someone for financial? You, we have work, so no have you traveled other countries? have you traveled the uh, different countries? yes are you accompanying with a family member no so i'm solo traveler so click next have you ever committed or been arrested no have you had medical exam performed by arcc no so click next you want to submit the application for a family member no because I'm applying for myself uh, this one if I not eligible to apply are you giving someone access to, to your application I want only me to access so I will click no because do you have an option if you want a representative to uh, process your application you can do it in the past 10 years have you given your fingerprint since this is my first time I will click no and then click next next there are fees associated with the application will you be paying for a case for your fee yes are you able to make digital copy of your documents with a scanner or printer yes so click next and then will you be paying their application fees online yes it's i have my credit card so you need to review all your quest your answers to all the questions make sure it's true and complete after checking click continue after clicking the continue, you need submitting your application. Step 1. Use your account. You must log into your account. Save your application. Then upload your documents. And then, um, your, your f you need to download some of the forms. Should be PDF format or JPEG. These are the formats you can upload. Yeah, and then after that, the step for the last but not the least is to pay your fees. Yeah, click the continue. So you will be needing the application for visit visa or temporary re temporary resident visa application form. So this time gather all the requirements the application form the application for visit 
visa, temporary resident visa. You need to fill up all the questions. Then you need to secure your travel history using your old passports. And then secure your new passport, your uh, current passport, I mean. Make sure it's uh, still valid. You also need to secure invitation letter from your sponsor. You need to secure a proof of means of financial support. It can be a bank statement, uh, um, pay slips, and then your digital photo should be Canadian uh, visa size. Um, what is the purpose of your travel? The purpose, it can be uh, your itinerary and then your proof of your relationship with your sponsor you need it after that you need to download again the family information form this is required just fill it all up you will be asked only about uh, your family's family background the father's name mother's name brother's name and then the rest are just optional documents if you have you can upload it if none it's okay and then the fees it will be only 185 uh, Canadian dollars you need to pay it online using your credit card after paying your application you will receive a confirmation email confirming the submission of your application you will be also asked for a biometrics so you need to go to your nearest bfs office i will log in to my original account so that you will see how does it looks like after uploading the documents needed so same process you need to enter your username and password check full application status then you will see there all the emails so this is how it will look like after uploading all the required documents it will turn to green you can see in the video yeah. as you can see August 1 lang po ako nag-submit ng application and then nakareceive agad ako ng submission confirmation email tapos then August 2 kinabukasan nakareceive agad ako ng biometrics collection letter so, nagpunta agad ako ng BFS office ng August 5. Uh, dito sa Riyadh, sa BFS office, hindi na kailangan ng appointment. So, nakapunta agad ako doon. Tapos, saglit lang ako. Tapos, after 15 days, nakareceive agad ako ng correspondence letter na okay ni biometrics ko. Then, at the same day, original passport request na. Punta agad ako para ipasa yung passport ko. Then, after 3 days, uh, na-receive ko na yung, pa yung passport ko with attached visa. May option naman kayo kung gusto nyo ma-receive yung passport nyo through Aramex o kung gusto nyo pick up and safe naman sa Aramex. As you can see, madali lang po mag-apply ng uh, Canadian Visit Visa. As you can see, 
um, uh, August 1 lang ako nag-submit ng, ng application ko. And then, na-receive ko yung uh, visa ko within uh, 20 days. 